Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back, and today um, we did start it off, but then the camera decided to um, stop on me, so uh, apologies for that, um, but we'll just crack on with what we're going to do. Um, we're going to be doing this um, white part of the dog here today, I wanted to keep it till last, but I just can't, I need to get into it, it's telling me I want, I want you to start it, it's just looking um at me and going can you start it so i'm going to start the white because i'm itching to get into it um apologies that it's quite dark in this room as i said i don't have a light bulb in this room um we've had nothing but rain um all day so hopefully the light bulb is enough to resolve that now i've just had lunch um so i've just been dealing with having lunch and I had a corned beef sandwich, my usual corned beef, because I do love my corned beef. <laughs> and check my phone and there's nothing really come up because I'm supposed to be going to the locker to pick up my package and to drop my client's order off. Um, but for some apparent reason it's not there because I've got a parcel that I need to send off to one of my customers and um, they ordered it, I think it was Sunday, but vintage sellers have about 15 day, uh, sorry, five days to send anyway, so I've got a bit of time. Um, but I've just not really had the time, so I need to try and get that off today. So what I decided to do was um, I ordered some more Radox, because I like to have a bath with Radox, the red one, um, which I think is called Muscle Soak. And... Um, I thought, well, if I go up there, I might miss him and then he'll drive it. He'll take it back to the depot and sometimes they leave it out and I don't like that. Um, so I thought, right, what I'll do is there's a locker up there and it's outside the shop that I need to go in to drop the parcel off because the client has selected Yodel. So I've got various options. I can, I can um, set it as every impost, uh, which is a locker, um, I can do Yodel or I can do Raw Mail. I don't normally use the Raw Mail option because we, I have to upfront that. Whereas when you use Yodel every and impose, the buyer pays for the label. So I don't really want a. And second class, you, you know, you don't have no proof that it's been delivered. Um, because what happens is when you drop the parcel off, it links it to the Vinted and Vinted know that you've dropped it off. And then in the screen, uh, the conversation screen, it will say parcel dropped off or something along them lines. So I thought, well, I can send it there. They've selected Yodel. Um, and I'll send it to the furthest one away. And then what I can do is pick up the parcel at the same time. Well, it's now f coming up to 3.16. That's interesting. No, it's not. It's five o'clock something. Oh my God, that's so weird. I just looked over at Alexa. It said 3.16 and so did the phone on here like the recording timer but it's not 3 16 it's five it's five o'clock something so i reckon it's going to be like a really late one um which i don't really need to get it today but when you don't send an item vintage will flash you a message saying have you sent this item you need to send it now so it's going to have to go off either way today i'm going to have to get wet and go and get that um, I normally get them off the same day I get the order, but it's not always possible if I'm like busy that day or I do try to do it. But the one, uh, they've just opened a co-op one in Whitton and it's, oh, it's so easy. It's like 10 minutes away from where my mum lives and, oh, that is heaven because they're open till like 11 o'clock as well. So likewise over here. So, um, what they're trying to do is the head office people in the co-op are trying to drum up sales because that that um post office in there is rubbish so you've always got long queues there's always one person serving so i will be moving things to yodel now um like if i want to send things to my friends uh, quite often if i get bags in my trays of diamond paint and i'll send the bags to tessa because um she always wants bags and I don't keep bags. So it just means I can send it with Yodel. It's going to be a bit more expensive, £3. But, you know, I'd rather send it tracked rather than wait 
um, you know, half a dozen minutes in a queue, I can just drop it off there and then. So, um, but anyway, after lunch, I'm currently dealing with a case. And what it is, is my British gas provider, I have smart meters, right? So over the lot, sort of like last month or so, I've been topping up through my meter and where it's supposed to do it automatically, it's not. So what they're doing is they're taking the money and I have to keep sitting in the cupboard, put, you know, it's like the brick phones where you have to rent a one letter for one word. Um, you know, very old fashionedly, you have to press like A, B, C, D, E, F, you know, like that. Um, well, I have to now sit in the cupboard and manually pull it on because it won't connect through the meter. So they sent me, I made a formal complaint and I said, look, this is not working, okay? So you need to fix it. And they came back to me and said, it's something to do with the Wi-Fi signal, which was a total utter load of rubbish um, because it's never ever been an issue with the, the signal because the signal is right close to, it's probably about two meters away and I've never ever ever had a problem with it. So I know that was a load of rubbish and they reckon that there was issues in the area, understood. So I looked at down detector because down detector tells you if there's any issues in the area and there was no reported issues. So I've, I said, right, do you know what? I'm going to take this to the energy ombudsman because I've had enough of this. Um, this has been going on for like two months now and you keep palming it off with, oh, it's, it's issues in the area. Now, they did say in the letter that a small number of customers have the same problem. Having said that, when I looked on the live chat, it's different to what this complaint handler said. According to the live chat, it, the agent said that they've had issues within the metering side of it. So it suggests that the issue is actually, in fact, their side. So I said, right, I've had enough of this. I'm going to take it to the ombudsman because you have to go through the complaint process first. And then obviously you can take it to the ombudsman. So anyway, I've uh, and there's no guarantee that your case will get uh, accepted. So anyway, I thought, right, we'll take it there and filled out the form. And a couple of days later, they said that they accepted the case. And today I logged on there because the next response is due tomorrow. So they're supposed to get back to me tomorrow. And they've put two different remedies on there, which is not going to solve the problem. So action one or remedy one, if you like, is a letter of apology. I'm not going to accept that because that's not going to solve the fact that I have to keep sitting in the cupboard. Uh, remedy two, they've offered £75 as a gesture of goodwill to my electric meter. And I'm thinking to myself, well, how's that going to solve the problem of me sitting in the cupboard each time? You know, I, I, I've i signed up to a smart meter service and I have, I'm not getting the services that I've signed up to. And the, this is the thing with my little smart home monitor device. In, in With smart meters, you get like a little monitor device so you don't have to keep going backwards and forwards in the cupboard to check the meter. Well, apparently they won't give me a new one, I think, because that blown up like a couple of weeks ago, like a couple of years ago, I think. Um, and it just randomly stopped working. And a couple of my friends said to like pull it near the meter so that it can like reschedule itself sort of thing and reprogram. And um, yeah, they, apparently they won't give me that because it's out the 12 months policy. I said, right, OK, well, replace the meter then and I can have a new one, surely. No, we can't do that. So I'm thinking to myself, as I said, like, if I accept that £75 offer, number one, I'm not gaining anything from it because you're going to put that on the meter for me to just keep sitting in the cupboard each time, topping it up. And it's a very long process. You know, it's not like you can just press a button and it just releases it. You've got to sit there tapping in all the numbers. So to get to zero, you've got to push the button. To move to number one, you've got to push the button. It's like bib, 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 bib. Just to get, if I wanted to get to number five, I would have to press that button five times. It's such an inconvenience. So then I tried to move to Octopus Energy because my friend on TikTok, she's like an energy saving sort of person. And she always tells us about uh, how to save energy and stuff like that. 
so done all the order form. They've rejected it because apparently they can't take on this type of smart meter because it's a very old... It seems like octopus only do like, you know, the very old fashioned way of topping it up with a key. Well, I don't want to go back to that. That is a nightmare um, to do because I've got a credit meter for the electric and a prepaid for the gas, which makes no sense whatsoever. But somehow along the lines, they accepted a credit meter for the electric, but not the gas. So I don't know what that's all about. Um, so I've emailed the case handler back and I've said, look, this is not going to solve the issue. I object to the £75. This is not going to solve the fact of the meter working. You know, the, the, the ultimate goal here is that they need to fix whatever is causing this issue between the signal of me topping it up and getting to the meter. And she actually said in the letter that apparently on twice it's just got stuck. So they've took the money and it's just in limbo. And then for me to get that on, because I thought, well, I'll leave it a couple of hours just to see if it's like a weather affected issue. No, that's not it. So for me to get that on, it means having to top it up, you know, after two hours or whenever I've got it. And I don't want to do that. So offering money is not going to solve the fact that I have to keep sitting in the in the cupboard. If I just if I accept that, nothing's going to change. I'm going to still have to keep sitting in the cupboard to top it up, and that's not how Smart is designed. So when I tried to join Octopus, British Gas won't let it transfer over because apparently it's something to do with this meter fault, and they don't want to transfer it. So in other words, I'm stuck with this company to which I'm paying for a smart meter which I can't use. Um, because I'm not getting the functions and you just want me to accept 75 quid. That's not going to work. OK, because number one, compensation is supposed to be paid to your bank, not off a credit. I will never ever. Accept. I have had some cases over the years where they've said we can only apply it to your bill. And as an exception, I have agreed to that. But normally, if if I'm being compensated, you know, you're supposed to have it in your bank. I've never known a company not to have in your bank that's what compensation is you get money in your bank but i just feel like it's a never-ending story because a bit like that lamar song is a never-ending story <laughs> and i like the cage goo goo one you know the one that goes to say i i how so sad do i is this let me see one two three so yeah i just feel like we're just going round and round and round in circles. So what happens now is the ombudsman have alerted British Gas of the case. And the basically British Gas talk to the ombudsman. The ombudsman then feeds it back to me. And then basically at the end of it, if we can't come to a resolution, the case handler, I think, decides. And based on his decision, will de will depend on whether I take them to court over it or what. Because I'm really getting sick and tired of it. You know, no amount of money is going to change the fact that I can't use smart meter services. And I've tried to switch away from them, but they won't let me. Because apparently I'm in this 12-month tariff thing. So I've got to do the four months 12 tariff or whatever it is. And I thought, no, that can't be right because I don't pay an exit fee. So surely I'm allowed to change when I can. And I've made a formal complaint about that as well. Because I've said to them... I don't have to pay an exit fee, and my tower states that I can leave whenever I want. So um, I got the letter back today saying something about that they've received the complaint. Um, but yeah, it's a very difficult problem, really, because it's one of them ones where the company just, it just seems to me like they, they really don't care and they don't want to fix it. I mean, a couple, a couple of my friends said because i joined at the i was with eon for years and then there was one occasion in the winter we topped up and they left everyone with no heating for four hours because they had a problem with everyone's meters not accepting the credits um and I, as i said it went on but it didn't get uh put on for four hours so they said that it's a case-by-case -case basis and they can compensate you for that but that's what sort of made me want a new provider, but I think British Gas is uh, the worst one out of the whole lot, to be frank. Um, so, yeah, it's one of them cases that is 
like my oven really my oven took two years of battling to get that sorted and after two years i'm not joking two years i fighted that case two years of going look you supplied it you need to fix it did i move in with an oven no if i moved in with the oven it wouldn't be listed on the tenancy agreement as ticked so uh yeah so this one's very similar to that it's going to take a lot of months to fix i think um because this is beyond a joke i shouldn't have to i don't have to do it with the electric one because that's done by direct debit so i really don't understand you know if they can't do smart smart meter or whatever it is why can't you just change the meter if it's the meter that's at the fault then why can't you just supply me a new meter because clearly it's something to do with the meter because the top ups are not reaching it i'm having to ha manually code it in because you don't get a card or a key with um well you get a card but i'm afraid that if i top up on that is the money going to get stuck on that and not go through do you see what i mean so I don't know whether to test that and see if that works because if it don't get put through i then get to ask them for a refund because the money's on this prepaid card thing to which i can't do because the idea is is that you top it up and it automatically transfers it to the meter but it's it's ridiculous so yeah at the moment i've got a headache with that trying to sort that out um because I've, I've had enough with them I really, really have. But as I said, if it is the meter, it, it's obviously the meter, isn't it? Because obviously I'm topping it up. If I'm having to code it in, then there's something, there's a problem between me topping it up and the signal not transferring it onto the meter. So, yes, that should be fun and games. But I've said I don't accept the £75. That's not going to solve the fact of fixing the smart meter problem because that's what they do. They just chuck money at you going, at, hey, we'll give you that. Um, but we're not going to fix the problem. No, that's not. You can offer me, you know, 400 quid. It's not going to accept the fact that you, you're, you know, you've not fixed the problem. I'm paying for a smart meter service. I want the smart services that I pay for. But anyway, um, so that's doing that. And then when Amazon bleep me, I, I'm going to go up and pick up this package, drop the customer's order off. And then by the time I get back, it'll be time to do dinner and sit down. And I think I'm going to have a YouTube night tonight, I think. I'm getting fed up of hearing about the news. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking, like, do a big sort of catch up on YouTube. And, yeah, I was watching um, a channel called Blunt and Gem, and her name's Sam. And she put a post up saying something about that this other creator blitz something. She makes her own cover minders. And oh my God, like if you've not checked out Blitz's channel, um, I can't remember the channel off by heart, but it's Blitz something. Check out Sam's post on Blunts and Gem and you'll see. Um, but her cover minders are actually done on Etsy. So, and they're butterflies of all the ones that I like. So I might be getting some of them. Um, and she very kindly d donated some to Blunts and Gems channel, I think she said, for a giveaway. So I think that's all the eye done. Brilliant. So I think I'd like to get... Let's try a different colour for a minute. I like to sort of alternate it, you know. So we'll do tea next, which is quite bizarrely. It's a yellow, but they've given us an orange. <laughs> so please don't be put off. You know, that is the actual colour for that. Um, but for some apparent reason, it's orange. Um, which is disappointing because I would have wanted a yellow for that but it is what it is on that one I'm afraid okay so that's that one I mean if need be what I'll do is if I want to do some more tonight I'll just put the light bulb in the front room into here and just have to keep swapping the light bulbs <laughs> I keep forgetting to bloody order the damn thing um so tea, weren't it? So, yeah, this is going to be a bit interesting. Well, I suppose it is more like an orange because down here it's more sort of blended in with the pumpkin. But up there it definitely looks like a yellow. But um, that's the one it wants. That's the one we're going to have to do. <laughs> so, yeah, let's start off up here. So, yeah. 
as I said, I reckon another sort of two sessions on this. But I've got quite a lot planned for October for the videos and that. Um, half of them are scheduled. We've got a, shall I say, or should I, well, you might actually see it before this. So let's keep it quiet for now. Um, but yeah, it's basically, I want to bring back kit up sessions. So it's going to be something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just like, I've seen another painting like this and it looks lovely. So uh, yeah, I can't wait for that. Yeah, I've got lots of Timu packages coming. I've got one on the plane at the moment. One's waiting to be shipped. Another one's at the depot. So they're processing it. Um, so that means it could be delivered tomorrow. And then... Um, uh, what have we got then? After that, we've got... I've got two more vintage ones. I'm really excited for the vintage one because it's from the same person who I got that evil looking chicken from. And you know, the donkeys, I think we had a ship with one, didn't we? So yeah, um, and it's like a Mickey Mouse tray. So as I said, I'm always on the hunt for new trays. So yeah, very, very excited to get that. I mean, I don't suppose it matters if it's, you know, dark or what have you, because technically you've got the light pad, you know, as the light. So I don't think it makes much difference. But yeah, I think um, we've had a river full of rain today, by the sounds of it. It's been, oh, it's been just lovely. You know, going to bed, not having to have a restless night, knowing for well that you can sleep and not have that wretched heat. Because the heat keeps you awake. It's a funny old thing, heat, because it can it can make you fall asleep, but it can keep you awake at the same time. So, oh, it was lovely. Can't be a good cold. My bed has to be ice cold. I love an ice cold bed. And then I like to crawl under the duvet and just, like, stay there forever. Um, like, have a nice hot chocolate, watch TV. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> But my mum, um, she takes her duvet cover thing off. Uh, no, she takes the quilt out of it and just uses the duvet cover when it's in um, summer. Which is actually quite a good idea because you've still got a bit of a cover if you get like a bit of a chill through the night or cold. But it's not going to be that hot that it's going to wake you up. Because um, her cover thing is really hot um it's a very stuffy blanket um it's one of them types of covers that are like got two layers sort of thing so yeah okay so this is quite nice because we get to do a bit of this pumpkin now so uh been looking forward to doing that so that's good oh we've got a bit of a stick issue going on there let's have a look see what's going on there ah that's why the um the cellophane you know what's going to happen? I'm going to have to go out when it's dark, which I really didn't want to do. But if it gets it done, it gets it done, doesn't it? So, But doing this makes me just want to watch Spooky Buddies now. Could you imagine like painting and then watching a Halloween film at the same time? I do. I really do like Halloween. 
it's nice when you get a month where you you know you've got a special occasion on like halloween and it gives you something to look forward to at the end of the month you know so did anyone used to have um i think they still do them in morrison's you know the apples but with the toffee on they're called toffee apples and you would have like toffee coated all over the apple or chocolate ones oh man they used to be like so halloween but the pound shop has got loads of different sweets um for halloween it actually feels like halloween tonight for some reason i think it's because i'm doing this <laughs> might just leave it till the morning actually but you know what i might with parcels i have to get it there and then <laughs> but this locker that was saying something about it's restricted access and i'm like no it isn't it's a car it's in a car park so how the hell can it be restricted access <laughs> And some of them are misleading because they'll say that they're inside the shop when they're not. They're actually outside against the wall. So, um, oh, that's nice. He's got like a, is this like a little collar or something that he's got? Oh, how cool. So what we'll do is we'll do this pumpkin now. Oh, this is nice. Look, we're getting that lovely smile in it. This one doesn't. I mean, it's got a bit of a smile, this purple part here. And I think this would replicate like a little eye. But um, this one's going to be interesting because the difficulty we have with this is it's supposed to be yellow, but that's going to look too orange, so you're not going to get that effect of a shine, I don't think, but we can have a go. But yeah, I don't think you're going to get that effect, are you? Wish it would stop raining, because I don't really want to go out in the rain, but... Oh, dear me. Gotta be done. Quite happy with the uh, storage. I'll check the storage and it's 78 out of like 120. So... I've managed to get two videos recorded. I haven't even uploaded them yet. Because it takes forever to upload. So I was like, I could get another session done. While we rather than wait for this thing to upload. So yeah. So is that supposed to be like a, a corner of his eye, maybe? Hmm. Be nice if we could get all of the pumpkin done today. That would be quite cool. I still haven't worked on my um, my um, Nutcracker stickers. So I need to get them started because the lady that I've bought the um, paintings of, she's got some fruit stickers in there and like, yeah, I've so got to get them. So I'm just going to have a bit of my tea. How are we doing for time? 30 minutes. Oh, yes. Plenty of time. So we'll see how long the next, um, oh man, I think I've left my tea bag in that. Is that a bit strong? Cool, blimey. <laughs> that is very strong, the tea bags in there, I reckon. <laughs> With my tea, I don't like it very strong. I like I like a milky tea, so not too strong, not too light. Plenty of milk. And job done.
always run in there has to cause a bit of a problem. This one doesn't want to go on its own. I want to stick here. <laughs> As I said, you're not really supposed to drag them across because it will um, it will make the glue very uh, less stick, if you like. So. <sighs> I'm not bored of painting, I'm just like, it's one of them days where I can't be bothered to do anything. <laughs> so, um, and I haven't really got a lot else to talk about, so I hate it when it's like that, and you're, you know, it's your whip and chat, and you're trying to think of more things to say. Um, but yes, probably another l late one knowing Amazon, because all they ever do is deliver like a, they might as well call it evening delivery, because... All they ever do is deliver in the evenings. I don't understand how it's so, you know, Prime members should get things early. Don't understand why everything's got to be in the evening. But I think what my, um, Tessa was saying something about that she thinks they do deliveries in the morning and then collections in the evening. Now there is another depot in um, Cambridge so I'm wondering if they're going from, because mine come from Harlow, they used to come from Chuck Cambridge, but they changed it and it makes no difference. Um, and I'm wondering if they have to come from Harlow, do all the deliveries and then go to Cambridge to pick up parcels ready for tomorrow. Because obviously the drivers work throughout the night, that's how you get them to you the next day, you see. So... Um, yeah, okay, so that's pretty much all the tea done. So, uh, yeah, brilliant. So I'll have to, I'll have to, what we'll do now is this little pot here will be the, the spare drill pot. Um, because these two are dormant, which means I can start kitting up another one. So what do I want to do now? Let's do a bit of J, which is the other part of this little dog. And this is a very sort of pinky colour. So very, very cool. So I'm hoping this will be okay because sometimes with lighter colours you have to watch it because it will make it look a little bit too light. But this I reckon is the inside of his ear which would probably replicate the skin colour here so yeah this is like the skin tone of his inner ear and then his face and down to his foot so yeah cool I've not had any further updates on Jack so I'm assuming um, that he's okay in there Must be bored stiff up there though, to be fair, because I wouldn't want to be in a hospital all day long. Must be boring. I mean, there's only so much TV you can watch, isn't there? But he ordered something, something came through, and I was walking in my mum's gate, and then the Amazon man was like, there's a parcel for you. Um, and it said Jack Donaldson, and my sister wasn't, didn't know what it was, so she asked Jack if that was from her, because it said Jack Donaldson on it. So, yeah. But it will be all changed when he comes out of the hospital because I will sort of like take a back uh, a back step. I won't come over as much because um, I don't feel like I can come over for a visit because it's not the same. You know, he's he's sitting in a house that is not his, and you know you can't really talk about things because he's always there. You know, 
If I wanted to have a private conversation, I can't do that. You know, and it's, as I said in the stream that we did on the turtle, the amount of shit he's got in the kitchen, I mean, we just don't have the space for it, but he doesn't seem to understand that. You know, I just don't understand. I'm still waiting for diamond painting with Petter's package, but I don't know if it's serious now or not, because it's been, she keeps on saying that she's gonna send it and still I'm waiting for it. So I don't, I'm sort of like, believe it when I see it sort of thing. Cause it's like, I don't know if I'm, if it's serious or not. Cause I've had people like that before that have said, I will send you a parcel, and it never does come. So, yeah, I don't know. So now I'm thinking, do I need to do dinner now and then go, or wait a bit longer then do dinner? Because every hour that goes by, I mean, last night I didn't get my dinner till gone nine o'clock, so, one thing that pisses me off with Amazon is they take forever to deliver. It's ridiculous. It's always in the evening, no matter what I order, it's always in the evening. I would have sent it to my relatives, but because it's like health and beauty things that I need, like the bath, um, the bath radox thing. Because I, as I said, I play that game, so I'm not going to pay out. It, like money to go to a shop and buy it if I can get it free with that game so yeah it's and then now it's sort of getting to like five six o'clock I really don't want to do it I, I feel like I really feel like I don't want to go now but I'm gonna go I'm gonna have to just force myself and get it so otherwise I'll have to cancel the order and refund the customer because, you know, she's been waiting like three days now. So, <sighs> but I, I knew for a fact that they would deliver it really late. I just knew it. So it's always the way. So what we'll do is we'll bring that down a bit here now because we're just sort of like, Working our way down into the leg section here. Is that an eye? Yeah. Look at that random eye just in the middle of. <laughs> Might call it for tonight on painting. Because um, I do have a few kitting up to do. I looked in the wardrobe for the Harry Potter drills and they're not there. So the drills that I thought were Harry Potter that I showed you in the turtle live in that meshing. Turned out to be a rhino, and the other drills don't match that, so I don't know where the hell I've put them. I've had all the box out, I've had all under my bed out, I've had all the wardrobe out, I've had all the recycling bags out. I just can't find them, so I have had to make the heartful decision that if I can't find them, I, don't, I mean, I just don't know where, where else to look, but and I've double checked everywhere, you know, even if I've tipped the bag out and then we check them all. I've got a feeling I accidentally put them in the bin. Um, but I've had to make the decision that the Chamber of Secrets will not happen now. Um, and the adult version, because I can't find them. Unless I find them in the next couple of days, then we might as well call it off. Because, I mean, what we, we've got another week and then it's October. So, yeah, there's no point anymore. I'm just... 